everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. And my gosh, for those of you that were trading last night, what a fantastically crazy set of moves. Uh, in the premium video, I am going to review a lot of that. We were up trading last night till 3 in the morning. Uh, then back at it early this morning uh, with very little sleep. I think I'm running on fumes right now, but I've kind of gotten past the tired phase to, uh, I'm not sure what phases it is after you get, you get through the tired phase and then you just kind of, it's like some surreal, like, you know, you feel like <laughs> you're uh, uh, in a, uh, on another planet, I guess, or m another mental state. Um, so with that being said, what happened today? Well, with the Trump victory, it was unexpected, okay? The media was all over the idea that Hillary would be a shoe in and I'm just talking about this from a trading perspective. And the market priced that in. And when it became clear that Trump was not going to win, chaos ensued overnight. In fact, I've never seen, I've never seen the S&Ps go limit down. We went limit down and hit 20, 28, 50. And we were stuck there for off and on for about 15 minutes. And then by the end of today, we were actually up 1%. So limit down is a 5% move. Huge. Haven't seen that since the flash crash last August. And uh, from there, we're able to kind of reconfigure. Now, what were the firm, what were the industries that, that uh, will benefit under a Trump victory? Now it's like, oh my gosh, Trump's here. Biotech, huge move up in biotech, up 8.7%. Um, through very clear resistance here, and you can see this across a lot of individual stocks. REGN up uh, almost 13%, okay? But the other sector, and this is the most notable one, was financials. And the idea of like, oh my gosh, Trump is winning, and he's talking about repealing the Dodd-Frank Act. He's talking about, I mean, all these different things that would benefit the banks, ironically. So you had Goldman Sachs, most notably, um, exploding higher on the day. Now, we weren't positioned for this, but this was something that once it gapped open, once you get something like this and you get an unexpected move, guess what? It's going to continue moving for the entire day. So this is one where even though it gapped up at the open, I think it was up $5, uh, went ahead and bought it with the idea that we're going to just kind of keep on trucking on. And I do think that, I mean, I do think Goldman Sachs here has more upside. Uh, this is something that, yes, we came right up to this level, but again, when you have unexpected move like this uh, and the market prices this in, there's a couple things that happen. First of all, remember, overbought and oversold becomes irrelevant. Okay, This is more about people on the wrong side of the trade having to get out. Okay, So they're going to get out regardless of what the chart says. If you are short and need to get out of something, you don't care if it's overbought, you need to get out. Plus, of course, new buyers coming in. So this is something that could last several days. Uh, this is something too, or if you don't have it, or you took profits on it today, you buy pullbacks, you buy pullbacks, and you buy pullbacks. So that was kind of the main stuff. Um, the other main trade that we did is we bought a straddles on a couple of things. The one that made the most money was, of course, TLT. Um, the spiders were kind of a uh, scratch, FXE, scratch. A uh, small profit on that one, but TLT was the big mover. And you know, the reason we did that straddle on the spiders and the straddle on FXE and the straddle on TLT was that typically in that kind of a situation, if you're not right, like you're betting on a big move, right? But we also did it far enough out that if it was a small move, it'd be like a scratch trade. But if it was a big move, we'd have a nice win out of it. And that's what happened with TLT. So what happens next? Um, the biggest thing to watch is going to be uh, the dollar index. Uh, this is something that could drive uh, the rest of the market, so we want to kind of keep an eye on that and see how it's doing. And then from there, keep an eye on biotech. Keep an eye on financials. These are the ones that can take the S&Ps and the spiders uh, kind of up to the next level. And if you see the spider move here today, we are um, certainly back, up, back into the fray here and wide open for moves to new highs before this thing settles down, okay? It won't be dull. All right, so just so you guys know, I, my schedule, I'm going to be flying out tomorrow on Thursday, so we may have some kind of a plane trade on Thursday. I will um, set up and update positions and things like that. Um, for those of you that we did have uh, some newer folks coming in and, and folks that wanted to kind of brush up on their, what I would call, Greek skills, and what the Greeks are essentially is that if you're, you know, either if you're newer to options trading and you haven't really dove into the Greeks, 
um, or you're kind of familiar with them but would like to up your game, um, Bruce is going to do a class on the Greeks. You can go to simplertrading.com forward slash Greeks. And this is really good, especially getting set up for the end of year in Q1 when there's going to be a lot of, I would just call it, it's, it's premium selling, but it's also knowing which options to buy and which ones to sell. And Bruce is going to do a strategy class coming up on November 15th and 16th from 6 to 9 Central. Just $347 to get you completely up to speed on the Greeks. And if you want to add live trading to that, it's three hundred. It's $497. Okay, and that includes this. So that's just like an extra 100 bucks. You can do that. This is the kind of stuff, though, that if you're really a serious student of option trading, this is the kind of thing that can take you to the next level. So in a nutshell, Bruce is going to be talking about why learning the Greeks is a lot like riding a bike. It seems impossible. And I completely concur with this because when I first started trading options and I started hearing about Greeks, I would get frustrated because like, look, I just, I just want to know, do I buy a call or buy a put? And it does seem impossible until someone finally shows you in a way that makes sense. Then you never forget. And Bruce is the best person I've seen at doing this. How you can use Delta, Theta, Gamma, and Vega, even if you never understood the stuff before and hate math. I loved that one too. Understand what every option trader must know to, cons uh, to be consistently profitable and how to avoid common mistakes that can kill your positions. Uh, there are some things here that Bruce has taught me that I was never aware of. And I was just, because he's been doing this with a focus on Greeks for over 20 years, and that's been immensely helpful. How traders who don't even use options can apply the Greeks and read the markets like an open book. That part is fascinating. Um, how the Greeks interact like a Rubik's Cube and how knowing that can give you an unfair advantage. Okay, again, very interesting stuff that I was unaware of. And then Bruce is going to go through some case studies. He's going to show how to break down these concepts. And really, just at the end of the day, that Greeks are intimidating. I mean, they're the hardest part of options to learn, but he does it in a way that it's easy to learn, doesn't go through all those confusing, convoluted things that you always kind of hear about. I mean, the first time I read a first page number one of a book just on Greeks, I was lost on the second page. And it's just, it's frustrating. And Bruce does not do it that way at all, which is what I love. And so again, here, you're going to see that his strategy class plus the live trading, just $497. If you're already comfortable with the live trading and you just want the strategy, and then that's just $347. And you can see the dates here and you can get your spot reserved and ready to go. If for some reason you'll be on vacation or anything like that during that time, but you still want to take it, it will be recorded. All right. And there you go, simplertrading.com forward slash Greeks. Uh, you guys have a good night. i got a lot to cover in the premium video, and we'll see you at the next update.